you consider the two kinds of circuits here okay now i am taking two circuits like this let us suppose this is a voltage source is connected to a switch like this and through the switch and it is connected to an rc circuit it is connected to an rc circuit let us suppose this is r it is c at t is equal to 0 the switching takes place okay so this is v so if you observe this uh, this circuit suppose if you observe this uh, circuit what it will be a here at t is equal to 0 the switch is closing the at t is equal to 0 the switch is closing let us suppose if the switch is in this direction in this direction means what the switch is the the orientation the arrow mark is in this direction at t is equal to 0 plus the switch is open okay until t is equal to 0 the switch was closed okay so that is the importance of identifying the the switch position okay so this is at t is equal to 0 the switch is closing okay so before t is equal to 0 the switch is open okay so before t is equal to 0 if you observe this what is the this is the voltage v okay this is the capacitor okay at t is equal to 0 minus what happens at t is equal to 0 minus means the switch was not closed the switch was not closed that means the circuit will be looking like this the circuit will be looking like this open r capacitor right there is no current in this so if there is no current in this there is no chance of the capacitor to charge so if there is no current in this if i is equal to zero in this okay if ic is zero what is vc of t we know what is vc vc of t is equal to 1 by c integral minus infinity to t ic of t dt okay what is the inductor what is the current through the uh, capacitor the current through the capacitor is zero right at t is equal to zero minus if i write t is equal to zero minus here t is equal to zero minus okay what is the voltage the voltage is zero because ic of t is zero okay ic of t is t zero minus is zero right so this is the thing so from this what we can write so from this we can write write that at t is equal to zero minus what is the voltage across the capacitor the voltage across the capacitor vc of zero minus will be zero vc of zero minus is zero okay so this kind of capacitor is called as the unenergized capacitor it is called as the unenergized it is called as unenergized capacitor means what is unenergized capacitor means what is unenergized capacitor means so until the switching the capacitor was not energized okay until the switching the capacitor was not energized so that means what is the initial value of the capacitor then the initial value of the capacitor is zero the initial value of the capacitor this is called as what initial value okay so it is called as what initial value right now what is the initial value of the capacitor now the initial value of the capacitor is zero so if the initial value of the capacitor is zero means what this is called as the already we know already we know what vc of zero minus can be equals to what vc of zero plus vc of zero minus is equals to vc of zero plus so at vc of zero plus also you can replace vc of zero plus as zero right so what is the voltage across the capacitor after at t is equal to zero plus at t is equal to zero plus the voltage across the capacitor is zero so that means the voltage the what is zero the voltage across the capacitor is zero means it can be short circuited okay so the meaning of this one is the capacitor is short circuited okay at initial condition at initial condition the unenergized capacitor having a voltage zero the unenergized capacitor 
will be having a zero volts. Okay, so at t is equal to zero minus, I am representing this voltage as Vc of zero minus. It is equal to zero, but we know the capacitive voltage cannot be changed. What happens? Even though if it is switch, switch is closed, even though the switch is closed, what happens? It will be closed. It is at t is equal to zero plus. What happens? The v, Vc of zero plus is equal to Vc of zero minus. Vc of zero plus is equal to Vc of zero minus is equal to zero. But the current will flow. But the current will flow. How much current will flow? How much current will flow means what? What is Ic of zero plus? Ic of zero plus is equal to what is this? What is the voltage? V. It is a V, right? It is equal to V minus. What is the voltage across the capacitor? Voltage across the capacitor is zero divided by R. So this will be V by R. Right? So this is IC of zero plus is equal to V divided by R. Right? If you observe this clearly, the voltage across the capacitor is becoming zero at T is equal to zero plus, but the current through the capacitor is not equal to zero. This is the point you have to understand. Only the voltage cannot be changed. Only the voltage will be remain same, but the current will be, but the current will be instantly changing. Before that, what is this? It was IC zero. IC is equal to zero. Okay. As soon as the switch is closed, what's happening? As soon as the switch is closed, the IC becoming V divided by R. Now this is how much? It is V divided by R. Right? This is IC of zero plus. Now, how we are calculating the current? How we are calculating? V minus this voltage. What is the voltage here? V minus this voltage. This voltage is how much? Zero. Okay? This voltage is zero. Zero V minus zero divided by R. That is V by R. Right? So, from now onwards, unenergized capacitor at T is equal to zero plus acting as short circuit acting as short circuit if it is short circuit now what happens what is the current ic of zero plus v divided by r right this is a very very important point so this is called as the unenergized capacitor right This is the circuit given. Let us suppose this is the circuit. So here the switch is placed here. At t is equal to zero, the switch is closed. Okay. The, at t is equal to zero, the switch is going to to be closed. Okay. Let us suppose this is V1 and this is V2. Okay. So if you observe this, at t is equal to zero minus, what happens? At t is equal to zero minus, how the circuit will look like? The circuit will be looking like this. So it is plus minus, it is open circuited, open circuited R1. It is the capacitor is connected like this. The capacitor is connected like this. This is V2. It is R1, R2, it is C. Right? So what happens here? See, what is the current in this? The current in this is zero. The current in this is zero because it is open circuited. But here the V2 is connected to, through this resistor and capacitor. Now what will be the, the voltage across the capacitor? The voltage across the capacitor will be V2 only because it is a DC. It is connected to the C. What happens? The current will be flowing. The current will be flowing. Okay. So even though the switch is not closed, even though the switch is not closed, because the capacitor is connected to one more DC source, what happens this one? This one will be fully charged. It will be fully charged. What happens here? It will be, how much it will be? 
the the voltage across the capacitor will be v2 only because the capacitor will get open circuited right the capacitor will get open circuited now open circuited right so this is how much it will be charged the voltage across the capacitor will be how much it will be v2 the voltage across the capacitor will be v2 right at t is equals to 0 minus right or not so this is the point you have to understand so even though the switch is not closed okay so the capacitor is fully charged the capacitor is fully charged even though this is not connected to the switch the switch is not closed because one more independent source is connected to this so because it is a dc source for this dc source the capacitor will be open circuited so if the capacitor is open circuited what happens so this will be open circuited right the capacitor will be open circuited it will be acting like this okay because it is connected already so the capacitor will be fully charged how much it will charge so whatever the voltage it is connected across this it will be equal to this one so the total voltage will be appeared here because it is a capacitor so because it is a capacitor it is fully charged so if it is a fully charged what happens there is no there is no current into this okay there is no current into this so here ic will be zero here ic will be zero so that's why at t is equals to zero plus what happens at t is equals to zero plus also what happens at t is equals to zero plus also the switch is closed the switch is closed r1 r2 plus minus plus minus one capacitor is there see after this one capacitor is there but it is what it is acting like a short circuit a open circuit what is the voltage across this a voltage across this one is how much v2 okay it is r2 it is r1 it is v2 now what is the current the current means observe this what is the current the current will be ic of 0 plus is equals to how much ic of 0 plus is equals to v2 minus v2 v2 minus v2 divided by r this is equals to 0 so that's why it is because it is a fully charged right the capacitor is fully charged because the capacitor is fully charged okay the capacitor is fully charged so if it is v2 it is also if it is v2 it is also v2 so that's why v2 minus v2 divided by r okay so ic will be zero the ic will be zero at t is equals to zero plus so from now onwards what we can write so at t so this is called as what energized capacitor this is called as the energized capacitor why it is energized capacitor it is called as the energized capacitor this is the meaning of this one okay so even though the switch was not closed the capacitor is fully charged not only fully charged but if it is having some initial amount of voltage across this so that is called as the energized capacitor if it is zero only the voltage across the capacitor is zero at the switching occurs now that is called as the unenergized capacitor if the 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 capacitor is having some amount of voltage a non zero voltage okay at the time of switching then that is called as the unenergized uh, energized capacitor right so this is called as the energized capacitor why it is energized capacitor even though the switch is switch is not closed already it is connected to this if it is connected to this what happens the capacitor will be fully charged okay because the circuit will remain the circuit will remain in steady state from minus infinity to t is equals to zero so that's why the capacitor will be fully charged because the current will be flowing in this direction okay the current will be fully charged so that's why the capacitor is having some amount of voltage that voltage is equal to v2 so that's why it is called as the energized capacitor so for this energized capacitor if you want to draw the circuit for t is equal to zero plus this switch will be closed okay if this switch will be closed what happens this will be this capacitor will be having how much this capacitor will be having how much voltage the capacitor will be having v2 voltage 
Okay. So now what will be the current across this? Already we know. What is the voltage across this? The voltage across this will be Vc of 0 minus is equal to how much? Vc of 0 minus is equal to how much it is? V2. V2 and it is equivalent to Vc of 0 plus. Vc of 0 minus is equal to V2 and it is equal to 0 plus. Okay. So it is having some initial value. Okay. Because it is a fully charged, Vc of 0 minus is equal to V2, but it is equal to Vc of 0 plus also. And for this one also, you will be having a same, same voltage. Now, what is the current? Current will be is equal to V2 minus V2 divided by R. So, it is fully charged. Right? So, that's why, so that's why you can assume this capacitor as a voltage source. How we are writing? IC is equal to this voltage minus this voltage, right? This voltage minus this voltage divided by R, right? So that's why we are naming this capacitor at T is equal to 0 plus as a current source, right? At T is equal to 0 plus, at T is equal to 0 plus, the unenergized capacitor is acting as short circuit. At T is equal to 0 plus, okay, at T is equal to 0 plus, the energized capacitor acting as a voltage source this is the point at t is equal to 0 plus at t is equal to 0 plus the unenergized capacitor acting as short circuit okay at t is equal to 0 plus the energized capacitor acting as voltage source so these are the point you have to remember right this is the point you have to understand okay Energized and energized. In the initial state, the unenergized capacitor acting as acting as the, in the initial state, the unenergized inductor acting as a open circuit. It is an open circuit, right? So that means in the initial state, the inductor acting as open circuit. Which kind of inductor? Unenergized and uh, unenergized inductor. Okay. In the initial state, in the initial state, what will be? Initial state means what? At t is equals to zero plus. Okay. So no need to write t is equals to zero plus. The switching may be takes plus at some t is equals to ten seconds. So t is equals to zero plus and t is equals to zero minus are called as the initial conditions. Okay, so here don't write t is equal to 0 plus minus like that. So initial means at the point that at the point of time at which the switching is takes place. Okay, so inductor, unenergized inductor acting as open circuit. Okay, in the initial state, the energized inductor acting as a current source. Acting as current source. This is the point you have to understand. Similarly, capacitor. At the initial state, the capacitor, unenergized capacitor acting as short circuit. Short circuit. Okay. Short circuit. This is what? Current source. This is a current source. This is the point you have to understand. So, this is short circuit. This is open circuit. In the initial state, the energized capacitor acting as the energized capacitor acting as what happens? Open circuit. Okay. It is sorry. It is in the uh, in the initial state. Uh, in the initial state, the energized capacitor acting as voltage source. Voltage source. If you observe this, see because this is unenergized capacitor, the current through the unenergized capacitor is unenergized. The current through the unenergized inductor is zero okay in the energized inductor the current will be non-zero so that's why we have to replace that inductor with the current source right so for the unenergized inductor for unenergized inductor so the current through the inductor at initial stage will be zero so that's why we replace that one as open circuit okay current is zero means it is open circuit right so if you observe this the in the initial state the energized capacitor, the energized capacitor acting as voltage source, 
okay but for the unenergized capacitor the voltage across the capacitor is zero okay so that's why the voltage across the capacitor is zero means we will name we will replace that one as the uh, that capacitor as short circuit these are very very important points you have to understand okay these are very very important points now what happens to the final value now final now what happens to the final value if it is final even it may be inductor or capacitor even it may be inductor or capacitor see it may be are energized or unenergized what happens in the final state the inductor will be short circuited okay it is short circuited you write this one as short circuited okay because in the final state the an inductor will be fully charged so that means the maximum amount of current will be flowing into the current okay uh, the flowing into the inductor so that's why the inductor is short circuited right if you come to the capacitor in the final state the capacitor will be fully charged if the capacitor is fully charged the current through the inductor is zero so that's why we can name that one as open circuit okay we can name that one as open circuit it is open circuit so these are the very very important points you have to remember this forever so whatever we have given this entire information this will be regarding the total entire transient analysis and if you know this clearly then the transient problems are very easy for you to solve okay you focus on the theory what i have told you okay so from that theory you can conclude this okay so what is this the unenergized capacitor in initial condition the unenergized inductor in initial condition acting as open circuit okay the energized inductor in initial condition acting as current source right similarly the unenergized capacitor in initial condition acting as short circuited the energized capacitor in initial condition acting as voltage source initial condition means what at t is equals to t not plus i am writing at t is equals to t not plus or zero plus you can write what is the final at t is equals to infinity at t is equals to infinity okay so these are the very very important point why i have written t is equals to t not plus at t not the switching is occurred suppose you can also write t is equals to zero plus also okay at t is equals to zero plus the unenergized inductor acting as open circuited energized inductor acting as current source okay you, you can easily find whether it is energized or, or unenergized okay so before the switching if the inductor is connected to any of the source then that is called as the energized if the inductor or capacitor not connected to the source before the switching then that is called as the unenergized okay so this is the thing you have to understand and you have to focus on this and if you are very good in this and this will be very easy for you this is the point you have to understand okay energized and energized in the initial state the unenergized capacitor acting as acting as the, in the initial state the unenergized inductor acting as a open circuit it is an open circuit right so that means in the initial state the inductor acting as open circuit which kind of inductor unenergized and uh, unenergized inductor okay in the initial state in the initial state what will be initial state means what at t is equals to 0 plus okay so no need to write t is equals to 0 plus the switching may be takes plus at some t is equals to 10 seconds so t is equals to 0 plus and t is equals to 0 minus are called as the initial conditions okay so here don't write t is equals to 0 plus min, uh, minus like that so initial means at the point that uh, at the point of time at which the switching is takes place okay so inductor unenergized inductor acting as open circuited okay in the initial state the energized inductor acting as 
a current source acting as current source this is the point you have to understand similarly capacitor at the initial state the capacitor unenergized capacitor acting as short circuit short circuit okay short circuit this is what current source this is a current source this is the point you have to understand so this is short circuit this is open circuit in the initial state the energized capacitor acting as the energized capacitor acting as what happens open circuit okay it is sorry it is in the uh, in the initial state uh, in the initial state the energized capacitor acting as voltage source voltage source if you observe this see because this is unenergized capacitor the current through the unenergized capacitor is unenergized the current through the unenergized inductor is zero okay in the energized inductor the current will be non zero so that's why we have to replace that inductor with the current source right so for the unenergized inductor for unenergized inductor so the current through the inductor at initial stage will be zero so that's why we replace that one as open circuit okay current is zero means it is open circuit right so if you observe this the in the initial state the energized capacitor the energized capacitor acting as voltage source okay but for the unenergized capacitor the voltage across the capacitor is zero okay so that's why the voltage across the capacitor is zero means we will name we will replace that one as the that capacitor as short circuit these are very very important points you have to understand okay these are very very important points now what happens to the final value now final now what happens to the final value if it is final even it may be inductor or capacitor even it may be inductor or capacitor see it may be are energized or unenergized what happens in the final state the inductor will be short circuited okay it is short circuited you write this one as short circuited okay because in the final state the inductor will be fully charged so that means the maximum amount of current will be flowing into the current okay uh, the flowing into the inductor so that's why the inductor is short circuited right if you come to the capacitor in the final state the capacitor will be fully charged if the capacitor is fully charged the current through the inductor is zero so that's why we can name that one as open circuit okay we can name that one as open circuit it is open circuit so these are the very very important points you have to remember this forever so whatever we have given this entire information this will be regarding the total entire transient analysis and if you know this clearly then the transient problems are very easy for you to solve okay you focus on the theory what i have told you okay so from that theory you can conclude this okay so what is this the unenergized capacitor in initial condition the unenergized inductor in initial condition acting as open circuit okay the energized inductor in initial condition acting as current source right similarly the unenergized capacitor in initial condition acting as short circuited the energized capacitor in initial condition acting as voltage source initial condition means what at t is equals to t not plus i am writing at t is equals to t not plus or zero plus you can write what is the final at t is equals to infinity at t is equals to infinity okay so these are the very very important point why i have written t is equals to t not plus at t not the switching is occurred suppose you can also write t is equals to zero plus also okay at t is equals to zero plus the unenergized inductor acting as open circuited energized inductor acting as current source okay you, you can easily find whether it is energized or, or unenergized okay 
so before the switching if the inductor is connected to any of the source then that is called as the energized if the inductor capacitor not connected to the source before the switching then that is called as the unenergized okay so this is the thing you have to understand and you have to focus on this and if you are very good in this and this will be very easy for you you now observe this question now so for the circuit shown the inductor current il just before t is equals to zero so just before t is equals to zero means what he is asking us at t is equals to zero minus okay he is asking us just before t is equals to zero means what t is equals to zero minus how the circuit will be at t is equals to zero minus at t is equals to zero minus what will be the circuit the circuit will be like this the circuit will be like this okay because at t is equals to zero the switch is going to be closed but at t is equals to zero minus the switch is not closed at okay so that's why the circuit will be looking like this but observe this but observe this even though the switch is not closed even though the switch is clo not closed what about this the 10 ampere source is connected to this inductor the 10 ampere source is connected to inductor so that's why this inductor will be what happens short circuited or short circuited or open circuited short circuited or open circuit open uh, short circuited because observe this it is an energized capacitor it is an energized energized inductor it is an energized inductor but what what happens it must be it must be replaced by it must be replaced by what current source but it is for what t is equals to zero plus okay but before that what we have to write but before that it must be short circuited because it is in the steady state right it is in the circuit is in steady state or final state the circuit is in the steady state if the circuit is in the steady state what happens if the circuit is in the steady state now come to this question so he is asking us to find the inductor current il just before the t is equals to zero that means we have to find the inductor current just before t is equals to zero so what what you have to find t is equals to zero minus we have to find the inductor current that means i l of zero minus we have to find i l of zero minus okay so if you observe this the circuit the circuit is looking like this the circuit is looking like this at t is equals to zero minus At t is equal to 0 minus, the circuit will be looking like this. Now come to this. So what is this? At t is equal to 0 minus, from minus infinity to t is equal to 0 minus, the circuit is in steady state. The circuit is in steady state. The circuit is in steady state. From minus infinity to t is equal to of uh, uh, 0 minus the circuit is in steady state that means steady state means what final final state means from minus infinity to t is equals to we are we have to write this one as steady state okay it is initial state it is a steady state okay final state also called the steady state okay so from minus infinity to t is equals to zero minus the circuit is already in the steady state so when the circuit is in the steady state when the circuit is in the steady state now what will be the either unenergized or energized inductor no problem what happens the inductor will be short circuited the inductor will be short circuited this is the point you have to understand the inductor is short circuited okay now what will be the current through this the what will be the current through this it will be is equals to this is how much it is 3 how much current is flowing it is 10 amperes it is 10 amperes what is this it is 1 ohm now what is the current what is the current it is 10 amperes this 1, 1 ohm and 3 ohms are in parallel okay so we have to find the current because it is open circuited we have to find the current in this okay so il of 0 minus is equals to total current 10 into opposite resistance 1 divided by 4 this will be 
2.5 so this is the il of 0 minus we have to identify whether the circuit is in the steady state or or not okay if the circuit is in the steady state if the circuit is in the steady state at the uh, up to that um, at the time of switching okay we have to replace the inductor as a you have to replace inductor as short circuited you have to replace the capacitor as open circuit so you can simply write this one so il of 0 minus is equal to this 2.5 amperes and this is equivalent to what again this is equivalent to il of 0 plus also okay so it is also equal to il of 0 plus but it has us il of 0 minus right so like this you have to answer this <music>